Hello and welcome to Space Shark Teaches. I'm Sean, owner and lead developer of Space Shark Studios, and in this series we're going to be teaching Godot. So in this lesson we're going to be teaching you about variables and constructors. So to start, let's go ahead and go back into our script. So we have our player selected. If you ever end up back on this in your main scene, you can click on this little script looking thing and it will bring you back into here. So something you may notice, if we ever wanna change the speed of the character, say to 100, we have to go up here and press play. If we wanna move him, we have to go up here say start up here instead maybe have them fall a little bit first now go back here now move them that's that's not the best way to go about it that's what we have variables for so that we can set a value one place and let's say we want the speed to be used in multiple places or across multiple different characters we want it to be accessible all around so we can make a new variable by coming over to variables here and pressing the plus button and click to name it speed. Now speed is set to null by default. Null means it has no reference. It is nothing. It's not even zero. It is literally just nothing. We have to fix this. So we can right click and go to edit variable. You see variant means it'll take multiple types. Um, these are all the different types it could take. What we really want is int, which stands for integer. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, negative 500, those are all integers. Let's set the initial value at 50, like we had before. And I want to point out a very important part of this screen, which is this export. So if we click close, we have the speed. Click over here, we still just have rigid body. If instead we right click, click export on, you can see it popped up over here, which means that next time we're in this view and we're moving our player around, we can change the speed. And it will update when we press play. That said right now it won't update much because we don't have it hooked up anywhere. To use a variable in visual scripting, you need to drag it in and now we have it you'd want to hook it into this value right so we're using set axis velocity in order to set the speed of our player but you can't just drag it straight in because this is an integer and this is actually using a vector what's well, called a vector 2 which means it has an x and a y axis on it or dimension so over here in available nodes if we just type vector 2 you can see under constructors constructor means we are going to make a new one of these and at the bottom you can see vector 2 so like before let's go ahead and drag it in we can now construct a new vector 2 so you can even just read it construct new vector 2 that's what we want, right? So as you can see over here, the X was 100 and the Y was zero. We wanna replace this X and that Y. So we drag our speed into X. And as you can see, that means that it's just going to be filled with, when we select player, whatever we put into this speed right there. So even though this says 50, because this player has a speed of 100, the speed will be 100. Now, just copy along with me because this is something special to Godot. Click on that Y and press enter. You'll see change input value. For whatever reason, when you make a new one of these constructors, it doesn't actually fill in a value there. If you remember, it said null over here and it'll cause a bunch of errors when you try to play the game. So now we want to connect these two purple dots. Take this up over to there. And you can see it disappeared because now this is coming from this, which is coming from this. 
So we created a variable called speed. We then said, speed, we want your value to be the value of this new vector two that is going to be used to set the axis velocity of our player. So that makes sense, right? Press play. And there, our player is just drifting along. That's exactly what we wanted. And as a bonus, like I said, instead of having to set it here or in here, you just say we want him to start up there. We want our player to have a speed of 200. Press play. All of a sudden, the player is going faster. Put the player closer to the ground. Set it something really slow, like 20. So now it's really easy for you to go through and update how fast you want your player to go. And that's it. We now can control the movement of this character directly from here. Go back to the script. You can see this is how easy it was. We created a new variable. You created a new vector two and you put that into this function, set axis velocity. You have now coded a full function using variables and constructors. It's, it's a pretty big deal. In the next episode or lesson, we will be covering how to take user input now. So you've gotten to the point where you know what functions are, you know what variables are. You can add new functions from your available nodes as well as use the existing functions that come with the nodes you've already made. We're going to be putting all of that together to make it into something where you can actually control the character with the keyboard. See you next lesson. That's it for this lesson. Thank you for watching, and this has been Sean with Space Shark Teaches.